Hi, everybody. James Sabalski for EA Sports. Welcome to Dallas, the home of the 1999 Stanley Cup champion stars. The Hurricanes will start with the puck as they win the opening faceoff here. Here's a shot. Oh, he has the answer there with a fantastic stop. Robertson stick handling in his own zone. Look out, here they come on the attack. Stars! No ordinary show right here. Pavelski gets one as he does so often. Dallas jumps out to a 1-0 lead just like that moments into this one. Well, I love the sense of urgency in the game. You know that they were dialed in right from puck drop, James. They had the fast new steps and strides, and they were first on the puck, and hounding it results in that goal. Fires it on net, and that's turned aside by Ottinger. Slides the puck across to Hintz. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. The Hurricanes gain possession along the wall. Dallas has it in their own zone. Delayed penalty looming. Here he is with the backhander. Denied that one. There's the whistle, and here's the goal. The Hurricanes have abandoned two for interference. The Stars get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Getting their first power play opportunity in the game, and here comes the top power play unit in the league. They're so dangerous and effective. It is extremely difficult to fend against them. Quick shot! Oh, what a stop as he used to just paddle the swat away. Levels him with the hit. Puck scooped up by Johnston. One on one with the goaltender. Oh, and he missed on the breakaway. Uh, hard to believe you're one on one with the goaltender. This is a product of looking for the perfect shot. Man, it's a game of inches. He'll keep it alive and moves it ahead. Jarvis takes it across the line. Here's a pass in front. And that goes off a stick. Slavin's almost back on the ice. Carolina's killed the penalty. Well, this power play unit was stagnant, James. They didn't create any offense. They didn't get any pucks to the net, and there were really no chances. Dallas has the puck near the back end. Oh, how did he get a piece of oh. Dallas has possession of the puck. And now it's over to Sagan. Centering pass. signs of slowing down as they now take a two-goal lead. I really like their game, not just because of the goals on the board, but also because of their execution. They just found a way to get to the puck. They pounded it, they protected it, and they got into the net. Stars! That's three in a row! It's so much easier when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing, and that's exactly what's happening right now. The Hurricanes win the draw here in the neutral zone. Gives him a jolt with that hit. And he takes the feed. Sends it over. Oh, fantastic stop here. Oh, what a chance, but a good defensive effort stops it. Oh, and if you're going to try this move, you have to be spatially aware, in particular below the goal line when you don't have much room and, and unable to finish it off because the defender closes quickly. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck along the boards. And a little physicality is that threat. Penalty coming up here. Heiskanen's getting two for interference here. He's off to the box. Ajo's an incredible playmaker. And with his third eye zone ability, he can make deceptive passes to set up his teammates. Robertson's got that snipe zone ability. His shots are so accurate when the puck is flat and ready for him. I'll be watching closely to see if one of those players can keep their team the edge. Now back to you. Ajo's carrying it ahead. Centering feed! Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Here's a feed in front, and that's intercepted. From center, they get into the attacking area. Scores! There it is! A power play goal! Oh, 
Well, that's a really tough break for the tender, James. I mean, listen, when structure breaks down and there's all kinds of stuff going on in front of you, you can't track, you can't get your eyes on the puck, and it winds up in the back of your net. Here in the late goings of the period, the Hurricanes are still trailing by two. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Pavelski's got the puck. Here's an offensive chance. Keeps it out, got a piece of it with the trapper. Anderson's all over that shot, makes an incredible save, getting to the top of his crease quickly, because that shot, it came fast and in a hurry from the slot. Made that stop. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play, doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. And that pass is redirected. Well, that brings an end to period number one. Still lots more action to go. Both teams will recharge and be back with more on ice action in the second in no time. A clean sheet of ice beckons and period number two set to get underway. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. The Hurricanes continue to find themselves chasing the game here, James. I mean, you look at the possession numbers, they really haven't had the puck at all, so they're getting worn down right now. Kowalski's big timber zone ability is when he gets to the front and deflects pucks, guys. When he changes the trajectory of a shot, goalies really struggle to catch up and make the save. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Takes a hit on the play. The Stars gain control of the puck against the wall. Here's a short pass to Robertson. Here they come on the attack. And the puck departs the zone. Takes the feed from his netminder. And he slides it quickly to Pavelski. Textbook poke check by Svechnikov. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Gensel. Dallas gains a hold of possession. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Sends the pass in front. And it goes off a stick and off target. Oh, a chance to make a nice move and the puck disagreed with him. They've got some momentum here. An easy pass save made by Anderson. Moves it quickly over to Stahl. The Stars gain control of the puck. Poked away at center by Stahl. Takes a shot. And that goes off the player in front. Made the stop on the play. Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. And now it's to Lindell. And they continue to apply pressure here. Tender. Great save to stay with it. Past the midway mark of the frame. It's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. Drury's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Pumped off the puck. And now it's grabbed by Dodanov. Looking to set up offensively. Centering pass! Scores! What a finish on the play! Dallas looks like a completely different team tonight, the way they played offensively. Well, they've had the puck the majority of the game, and when they have it, they've got quick, close support for someone to move it to right away, and that's what's opening up lanes and giving them an opportunity to attack. Turns up one away! Ottinger's made a nice stop there, and that can be difficult to do, James. I mean, sometimes you get cold or you get lulled into a game where you've been in the offensive zone most of the time. So it's often about timely saves that makes the difference. Dallas seems to be scoring on every single opportunity based on the chances they've created up big here in the second. Dodonov's moving the puck through his own zone. Taken by Duchesne. Stars! And they strike Hayter once again. Trying to get another one. 
Dallas has looked as dominant as I've seen all season long, and we are still only in the second. Well, they've been moving and grooving, and the question is, can they dictate and continue this pace through the third? But, man, have they been strong with the possession time and finding the appropriate times to attack the net. Makes the move in front! Scores! Well, they've got a mountain to climb, but they at least have started the escalation. Well, yeah, they're not at the base of the mountain anymore, but I'll tell you, they're looking up, and it's a long way to go. They're going to have to dig in, put their work boots on if they want to claw their way back into this one, James. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you got to have the will. The Hurricanes now need to find a way to get a few more of those. Yeah, they need them because if they get that pushback and they can get a couple more, they'll feel like they have an opportunity to win the game and then the sticks get heavy on the other side. A lot of work to do to make that happen. Poked away in the neutral zone by Natchez. Puck grab by Orla. Now a quick pass to Ben. He's got a step. Second period nearly into its final minute here. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Carolina's got control of it now from their own end. Good hit to pump about the puck. Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. Teams are lined up, and they are ready to get this third period underway. It has been a thorough dismantling for the first 40 minutes. Let's see if they can try to change that here in the third. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Carolina's got to have a fresh start in this third period, James. They haven't been urgent, and they've been chasing the entire game. And I could tell that right from puck drop in the first period. They weren't urgent off of the faceoff. They weren't where they needed to be. And it's looked like that all game long. They need to change it now if they want to get back in this one. The Stars have it now. Great reach with the poke check. Centering feed. Oh, and he comes up on a stop. The whistle as the puck goes into the back of the net, but I think they're going to call this off as the play was blown dead beforehand. Dallas continues to lead early in this third period. Big story tonight for them. Their offense came to play. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Locks them. Dallas gains a hold of the puck against the boards. And it's broken up by a nice defensive use of the stick. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. Dallas is in the home stretch of this one in what has been one of their most impressive performances offensively of the season. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Dallas takes possession at center. Takes the pass. And a smart heads up play to put that away by Stahl. He carries the puck up along the wing. Cutting to the front of the net. Storms him on the play. The Hurricanes have the puck now. Dallas takes possession along the wall. Puck picked up by Harley. Moves up near the blue line and looks to set up at the point. And all along. Great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. The Hurricanes pick up steam and are on the attack. There's a chance in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. No, sir. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. He's hounded it, he's hunted it, and guess what? He's been rewarded for his efforts. 
The Stars are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving and holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. Across the line along the left wall. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out for the back of the net. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. And he gets his glove on the changing shot. Here we go, look at this. They're really applying the squeeze down on the offensive end. There's a hit. Sean, great save on the play. And there's a hit with a little violence. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Quick feed to Ajo. The Hurricanes carried along the wall. With the backhand. Tremendous stop by Ottinger. Time winding down in this one. While we have a chance, let's go to Carlin Bay standing by right side. Robertson's been great at generating offense, and I've been impressed with his game in this one, guys. Poked away in the neutral zone. And the final seconds ticking away here in regulation. Rocks him on the play. Here's a chance on the attack. Scores! Quick blast, no chance. We don't get many odd man rushes throughout a game, James. You have to capitalize on your opportunity. I thought they executed perfectly. They didn't overpass. The right player took the right shot. The Hurricanes are showing a little pride here in the third. Really, that's all that it's about right now. This game is over, and you can see they just want this game and the clock to tick down. They want that final buzzer to go. Off the trot, he ties up his opponent. He grabs the puck here at the point. And misses on the tip. The Hurricanes missed the net on that one, but they've had a lot of opportunities in this game, and they've been equal to their opponent, equal to the task, but just not equal on the scoreboard. Scores! And they finish it on the rebound with a goal. Well, I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Moves it to Robertson. Excellent stick work on the play. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Oh, you'll win respect for your teammates doing that. What a block. There's a save. Oh, big time hit along the wall. And this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. Yeah. for the face-off after a great shift there, Cheryl. Yeah, in the offensive zone, they have all the momentum. Would be surprised to see a little stall at the face-off here to give their goaltender a little extra breather because he has been under siege, and you can see it on his face. He needs some rest. 